Since the new Prime Zero has come out, I, I had a little think about it and thought, why not do a bit of a comparison compared to the Pi 2? Now, I have sort of taken into consideration um, the Pi Zero is a lot smaller than the 2, so it will be less powerful, but it is sort of more about fun, I think, but I'll come to that at the end and explain this first. So, that's basically what I just said, so I'll have to get that slide. So, to start off with, the Raspberry Pi has also released um, a new version of Raspbian. That's Raspberry and Jesse. This has Office, and m most of the adults here will probably think that people will make them work more from that. And um, they have also put some other um, coding um, languages and stuff on it. Um, so that makes it um, quite a lot better um, just to use and generally. So the cost of the Pi Zero isn't megabooks at all, it's four pounds, uh, five dollars, and that isn't much at all, and it is sold on a magazine, um, as most people got it on a magazine, uh, which is the first computer, and I think that's amazing, it's just mega cool that we got it on a magazine now. Um, the cost of the Pi 2 isn't as good at 20 to 30 pounds, depending on what's I go to. I usually go to RS Components. Um, the, it is about £25 there, so in between. But it's still manageable, especially for a PC. Um, now, all the stuff we're really tr interested in is all the power and RAM and CPU and all the um, really cool, clever stuff. So, this is it. So um, the Raspberry Pi model, the Raspberry Pi 2, um, has a processor which runs at 900 megahertz and is um, a lot better than Pi 0 at only 7 megahertz, 100 me 700 megahertz. Let's try and speak. Um, but it's still good for the size. Um, I mean, um, and it's very light as well. Um, and the Pi 2 wins again with a stunning, stunning 1 gig of um, RAM. Um, for the rest of Pi Zero, you have to buy um, a adapter for your HDMI. Um, and it, my Raspberry Pi Zero is over there. So if anybody wants to go and have like a go on it or anything, um, that's fine. Um, it is connected through a couple of um, adapters, so the graphics isn't brilliant on it, I must admit. But that's mainly because I've bought um, uh, monitoring from home and stuff. Um, and it's powered by a micro USB, so standard phone, obviously. Um, if you get Samsung HTC, all of the um, power is supplied there. Um, so usually when you buy a Pi, um, your phone charger will be okay um, with it, obviously unless you have an iPhone. Um, and the recommended power to the Pi is 5 volts and 1.2 amps. Um, and they are both, the storage is both um, micro SD. As I was saying, you'd have to put the new version of Raspberry on, a, on a Raspberry Pi Zero, but you can pick and choose on the Model 2. The Pi 2, sorry. Um, and I use Win32 Disk Imager. I have a video on my YouTube channel to do the SD card stuff. And um, this is what we have. So all the connectivity and stuff. Um, the USBs are like really important. And so the GPIOs, it's sort of how it interacts with the outside world, the Pi. Um, and I sort of really love doing all that circuity board stuff. Um, my dad's taught me stuff, my uncle's taught me stuff. Um, and on the Raspberry Pi Zero, you do have to um, solder on some GPIO pins. But I do also think that is sort of good because you learn more when soldering it yourself and you can see how it all works inside. 
So, like, what do you think? What do you think is better? I mean, the Pi 2 obviously has better um, processing and stuff in it, but I think the Pi 0 is more designed for fun. It's on a magazine, how cool is that? And um, it's brilliant for little experiments, and it's lighter, and it's better, and it's a new step in computing, really. Um, everybody has some mega cool stuff and projects, and they want to put it onto the new Pi Zero, and they find it pretty amazing. So I'm going to leave it there, I think. Yes, I have no more slides. Um, and that's it, really. Has anyone got any questions? How easy did you find it to solve the circle? Um, I haven't actually soldered um, the GPIOs on yet. Um, I've soldered some other stuff, um, so stuff like motors and stuff. So I'm still sort of learning, but I, I'm getting there with soldering. I'm getting there, um, especially when my uncle, he always lets me borrow his and do stuff, and then he teaches me how to do it, so I find that quite, quite cool. Um, him helping me. Anybody else? What are you going to do with it? That I haven't thought of yet. That idea is forming in my head right at this very second that you talk to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so the things that something small like that would be useful for is not desktop computers. Not desktop PCs as such. Um, Robots, um, it will be easier to for robots and stuff um, because it's smaller and lighter. So, say if you had your pie on the back of the chassis, it wouldn't topple over or anything. Um, it, it, yeah, so, and with hats as well, if one day we get hats Pi Zero, the work on a Pi Zero, you can add them onto robots and stuff as well, and sensors and stuff, and mega stuff. Mega stuff. Mega stuff. <laughs> So the my whether they agree with this or not is so the the Arduinos, the small microcontrollers that are for the official ones are in like the twenty to thirty pound range for the cheap knockoffs they're in a the couple of quid range but they're very low power very low storage and now what we've got is a computer a full computer that's massively more powerful than an Arduino for about twice the price as one of the cheap ones. Um, so four quid rather than a couple of quid. Um, it gets you a lot of I.O. and gets you the ability to display on monitors and it is sound more just about powerful and I, I, a lot more than yeah, so not that much more money. Not that much more money. And what I've done with it so far I found pretty cool. I mean, as for dad knows, we've had a couple of tears over it sometimes, haven't we for dad? And um, we've had but at the end of the day, it's brilliant, and it, it, I just love it. <laughs> so we could see. So other people that have a Pi Zero, or if I want a Pi Zero, what do you want to do with it? Other than just hold up a magazine and go, look, I got a computer off the front of the magazine. Media Centre. Media Centre. So you want to play video, audio, to a TV? Yeah, that's one of the ideas I've got. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what makes a Pi Zero good for that rather than a Pi 2 or a Pi? Or... Cost, size, stick it behind a TV, can't see it. Weight. Weight, yeah. Power. <laughs> Power. <laughs> because the, the Raspberry Pi 2 did it cause your TV to top all the back. Yeah, at that point. <laughs> Where do you have it? It's sort of an idea that I've got for the Pi Zero is I've um, got a database that um, I've made for my dad, mm -hmm. my dad shop, and I might run that on there, but it depends at the moment what I'm doing with the other pies, um, since it's like processing and power and stuff. Yeah, I think we have a, another suggestion. Josh, you have another um, suggestion here. I'm, I'm going to try and put retro power on it. Oh, okay. So you're going to try playing it games? It should on. work. It will work. Um, but I have to try the Pi 1 version on it. Though. Yeah, so I've run RetroPi on a Model B. Um, you can't do PS2 games. Well, you can do the PS2 games if you're willing to wait um, for each frame. But <laughs> it's not quite that much. 
Um, it was an awful slaughter in, in, during the PS2 emulation, uh, which the Raspberry Pi 2 absolutely found it. But the, the Model Bs, they are fine for things like men. Uh, I think they even to run OK. I think I've got Doom running on it OK. Um, I don't think I noticed was the PlayStation. It didn't work very well. So the, the Zeros, Pi Zeros, should be absolutely fine for it. Um, especially since the Pi Zeros, I think they're in gig, um, clock speed, whereas the ones were 700 megahertz, and I didn't off the old clock in one, because uh, I was too lazy. I think it was. Uh, it did, could be a, a cheaper alternative for school, so in the absence of the micro bit and before you get the students onto it, like a full Raspberry Pi, so rather than working in groups because of the cost, uh, it's probably more okay. affordable to get individuals each with their own Pi Zero on a computer working individually rather than three, four, five so we, students. We, we are down to the cost of you know, four quid trips, is that each kid gets their own because we're at that sort of level. The, uh, the thing you, you don't get there is the storage, so you need a Mac OSD. Uh, but yeah, you're at the level where you can deploy a lot of those. And the most expensive thing you have there is probably the Macs, keyboards, monitors, which can be reused. But yeah, there's definitely something where you can have each key that gets around and gets the user around, um, which makes that make sense. I suppose if you're going to try and replace a Raspberry Pi, you want to solve the pins on it to get the I.O. again, um, which might not scale in the school, unless you've got someone that's willing to sit there for several hours and solve all those pins on. But yeah, it's worth the time to do it for some of the more software based things rather than hardware based things. Yep. Would it work as a low power printer, sir? Uh, yes. So if you plug in a wireless dongle and convert a Long Wi-Fi printer into a Wi-Fi printer. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, the let's see. You if you've got a USB printer, yeah, it should be fine. There's a Mac USB there that you could you know hook into. I mean, you don't need a USB port. Yeah. You you do have one Mac or USB. You have to convert it. All right. Yeah. So that's you've got one Mac or USB on one Mac or USB for power. On the zeros. So you need a hub. Really. So you don't need a hub to do it. Do so does it have an ethernet so you could use it to wire it? No. Alright, no. oh, so you know. Um, I've seen a bit of a hack you can put in a USB board on it. Uh, no, an ethernet board, sorry. On the spy bus from the GPIO. Yeah. Yeah, so the all the stuff that already exists already exists. So there's like spy Ethernet adapters, there's Wi-Fi that you can hook up to GPIO, um, like serial things. As long as the operating system supports it, which at this point it probably does, considering it's a Raspberry Pi, you're going to have to move stuff into them. Um, you should be able to put Ethernet in there, Wi-Fi in there, without taking your USB, uh, which you could use to then connect up to a printer or stick into a hub and get lots of other things off it as well. If the, the idea of hooking it up to a printer and making basically a standard printer a wireless printer. Um, if you do that with a USB, sorry, with a, uh, a Wi Fi dongle, your Wi Fi dongle is more expensive than the computer. Anyway, anyone else has any ideas? I've seen, um, okay. I don't know, a, a, a pen thing over the uh, circuit pens. Um, draw straight to the development, um, some of it dangerous potentially, but we all know it's awesome. So, before she walks away, we should congratulate her with that.